this woman inside of her she had so much pain she was so grieved she struggled on inside and she had a reason her circumstances were the blame if you look at her circumstances you will understand she doesn't have a child the other woman in the house is ridiculing her so she walks around on inside bruised up and she is a bad magnet on inside it is true the reason why she is negative on inside is because of her circumstances but her circumstances won't change until on the inside this woman changes and you see this woman walking into the temple hurting complaining crying weeping and she bawling her eyes out to God she's praying all of her concerns out to God she's realigning herself with God and then the priest finds her talks to her and you see afterwards this woman wipes her tears and the Bible says she stopped being sad nothing changed on the outside everything was still the same but something changed on the inside of this woman I think I know what happened a magnet got replaced instead of being Debbie the downer instead of being I am nobody instead of being you know what I'm not loved God has forsaken me these people just hate me that woman I wish she will die she's hurting me so much and my husband is just not there to support me instead of blaming everyone around her something changed on inside of her she became confident not cocky but confident and she walks out of the temple the Bible says with a spring in her step she's no longer sad remember right before this she was so sad that she, when the husband gave her double portion of food which is an insult if a woman is not feeling good don't give her double but in those days if you give a woman a lot of food I guess it meant love guys if you ever give a woman a lot of food when she's depressed you're gonna lose a woman you're gonna eat that food by yourself I see some girls saying no no more food more food God bless you too <laughs> they are on this feast and the husband gives his wife double portion he gives her preference he gives her compliments he says hey it's fine you don't have kids you're better to me than 10 kids everything is fine boom brings her this big steak she looks at that and the bible says instead of saying thank you honey she leaves that walks away imagine thanksgiving dinner you probably all have had those relatives or maybe you've been one of those relatives who come upset at this family gathering and you sit down you're like no I'm walking away and you leave the whole lunch and it's embarrassing everybody's watching and you're like awkward and then everybody else begins to leave that's exactly what happens this woman gets so upset she walks away from the dinner she's hurting she's just she just had it enough she goes to God and she begins to vomit everything to God say God this is what's happening this is what's wrong all these people are so wrong they're so why did you da, 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 da. and she complaining whining complaining whining and then something shifts something changes she receives a word the Bible says she stops being sad she walks out the next day she comes back to the temple worshiping and then the next verse she gets pregnant and we don't see that bad woman mentioned again in her life why you may blame your what's happening inside of you on your circumstances but remember this your circumstances will not change until what's inside of you changes how does that change align yourself with God be at peace good will come to you many of us instead of going to God with what's happening inside of us we keep going to people and I love the idea of having a counselor having a pastor having a mentor but if it's been 10 years and it's the same issue that you've spent talking thousands of hours with the same people I think you need to stop looking for new people who can listen to your problem as they used to the other people I think you need to stop switching home groups switching mentors 
switching counselors, switching churches because they don't understand. Well if it's the same issue that's been happening for 10 years that people give you advice on, maybe it's time to wrap everything back and say you know what, I'm going to go to somebody who understands and somebody who can help me with it. And not just somebody who can pat me on the back and says I feel you but says hey let's realign you. Let's change a few things. I know they're all wrong but there's some things you're wrong about too. Let's switch that first. And let me give you peace and shut up. Walk out of this. Don't think about those people. Think about me and I will do a miracle in your life.